So, I'm off to get the boys at the robotics club. It's about complete dark. Sunset was a little while ago. I have been busy girl tonight. I've got a whole ton of aluminum in my back. Um, I'll show you in a few minutes if I get stopped at a stop sign or stop light. Uh, just like that would have been if it was a couple minutes sooner, a couple seconds sooner. Oh well. But yeah, it's been quite a day, a couple days actually. I've gotten quite a bit done. Got a lot of little fidgety things done yesterday. And then, um, seems like that's all I do is little fidgety things, but that's alright. I got a lot backed up from winter, so. different feel to the night. It's not gonna be any red lights for me, eh? Interesting. Whoop, there's somebody flying down the road. Let them go. I don't know if you can see back there very well. It is really dark, but there's a whole heap of aluminum. I'll show you better later. So, I'm on my way to pick up the boys, as I said, and I'm here at this place called Cookout. I can't, I don't know if it's focusing. But, um, I forgot it's Saturday night and it's a teenage hangout because it's really cheap food. All I wanted is a corn dog and a shake. I don't know if I'm going to get through here and get there in time. I'll see. So what's your favorite flavor of milkshake? I love vanilla ice cream. And I usually like caramel on top or strawberries. But I like vanilla ice cream because you can put toppings on it and it makes a whole new flavor for each time you have it. So, but tonight I think I'm going to get a chocolate milkshake. That's my favorite kind of milkshake. So I was watching this guy last night on YouTube. His name, I don't know what his name is, but he's the history guy. I love history and tidbits of unknown stuff, you know, the stuff that nobody remembers, but is kind of cool um, in the history of things. Well, the history of neon was the subject of the video I saw last night, and I thought it was pretty awesome. So, uh, go on over to the History Guy. I'll put his link down in the um, description. And you can say I sent it you over there. If you like history, that is. But uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share my channel as well. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Here we are again. Um, I was going to show you my stuff. I probably should show you in the light tomorrow or, or Monday. But there's my stuff. All this sheet aluminum. And some extrusion. Extrusion. And there's also a fence thing that's extruded. And some from a stove and a radiator. So, that's all. Hey, doody doo doggy. Hi, Jack. Jack. <laughs> Hi. No, you a sweet boy. You be good for daddy while I'm gone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
All right, so back in the back is, uh, I decided to take wire, not just uh, aluminum. And uh, so anyway, there's extension wires back there. There's category five, and I don't know what that other is in the middle. But um, there's junk wire over there on the right. I'm not gonna take the two ones solid the two strand solid I'm just gonna wait on that because I don't have a ton of that um there's my brass in here I cleaned up as much as I could this I don't know if they're gonna take as dirty or not because I still have a little tiny piece of um, PVC and uh, the threadings on these and I don't know if there's anything inside of there there might be Anyway, I'm just going to take it because I don't want to do any more to it. Uh, and then there's my cast and die cast aluminum. There's my extruded and then the fence posts are extruded. Um, and then sheet aluminum. There's a couple pans under there. More dirty aluminum. I've got a couple barbecue uh, things I need to throw in. Barbecue valves. Ooh, excuse me. And there's more little pieces of old sheet and clips. And then my radiator. So, there you go. There's what I'm taking. So, I will see you at the scrapyard. And I don't know if I can film much. And if I can't, my battery might die too. Or if I can, my battery might die. So, I'll um, make sure that I try to um, get in the weighed and paid. Thanks. See you later. Okay, see what do they want me, what they want to do.
found a bonus penny and a little bonus wire. Alrighty, not inside, so it's mine. Let's go get paid. Woohoo! Alright, let me get set up here. Or the battery dies. I know it's probably backwards. 126. 126 dollars. Very nice. All right, that's the first time I have gotten a Benjamin Franklin $100 bill. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All you boys and girls out there, get your aluminum and brass and stuff in. It is hot potatoes. Let's see. Um, red brass is what they're calling it. $43.05. It's two dollars and five cents a pound. I don't know what it was last week, so I can't tell if it's up or down. Die cast forty cents a pound, that's about right. Forty-three for old sheet, that's down a penny. Uh radiator, same thing. Old sheet, aluminum, why did he do that again? He got three oh one and eleven sixty one, I don't know. Anyway, insulated copper number two. Uh, what did I have? Oh, 11 pounds, 90 cents a pound. Yeah, not too bad. Drop cords means like junk wire, stuff like that, I guess. Extension cords. Uh, 55 cents a pound. And another number two. I think he gave me number two for the uh, big box where I thought it was just junk wire. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, and then stainless steel is 48 cents a pound, which is not great. Uh, and the extrusion, 75 cents a pound. So there we go. All good. 126 bucks to the richer. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers from North Carolina. So on the way from back from the scrap I stopped at one of the apartment buildings and found this a bunch of Christmas decorations. One of those mesh metal things. Or uh, look at rattan looking things, but they're not really rattan, they're metal. And uh I'll cut the lights off of it. I know. It's like what? Cut the lights off of it. Anyway, there you go. Bye. See you later, Gators.